Hey guys, um, quick break from the Wagoneer. <clears throat> I stumbled upon a roof rack for my JK Wrangler. I'll show you what it is. And uh, this video is about this particular uh, wind deflector. I made it. Uh, I'll show you how I did it and for which roof rack. But really it's not so much about the design of this because that's relatively simple. It's about the material. So here's my 15 Wrangler. Um, I stumbled upon this roof rack on Craigslist. It's a Rhino Rack Pioneer uh, and it came with ARB or sorry AEV brackets. Um, I had a Gobi before um, and it was nice, very sturdy, but uh, heavy and um, loud. This is not heavy, this weighs about 50 pounds altogether. Um, the Gobi was about 170 pounds, if I remember correctly. I really felt that it was very noisy. And this is much less noisy, uh, but it does have some wind noise. Um, and so my attempt is going to be to put together a roof, uh, the kind of an awning for it. So first, I cut these little angle brackets out of just some plate aluminum, drilled the drilled holes so there's four of them as you can see and uh, on the bottom they're just screwed in I drilled a hole in the aluminum and drilled a little hole okay so so that's relatively easy let's get to the wind uh, wind deflector so AEV and uh, Rhino Rack do sell a wind deflector last I checked it was a hundred and ninety eight dollars maybe more and uh, that's too much. I paid that much for the whole rack itself. I got very lucky. So here's how I did this. Um, I had an old Thule, uh wind deflector on my Jetta. Sorry, my... Um, in fact, here's, here it is. You can see it's quite a bit smaller. I wanted something bigger. And uh, this is uh, 1 8 inch plexiglass maybe, ABS, um, <clears throat> and that was going to be way too thin. So what I used was this. It started out as white. This is a quarter inch thick PVC foam board. Not the foam board that you would get at your hobby shop or Joanne Fabrics. This is actually a foam a PVC ceiling tile. I got it Lowe's Hardware. And like I showed you in some of my other videos, I use this material to recreate uh, door panels and rear panels for the Wagoneer. <clears throat> so in this case, although this is a lot stiffer, uh, stiffer than the um, than the plexiglass that that wind deflector is made out of, um, I doubled it up. So I used two pieces. I used some uh, some spray adhesive, so basically contact cement on both sides. I glued them together, and then I sprayed it once it was dry. I used this stuff and put on about three layers. <clears throat> so you could. Um, you could use different brackets. In fact, I even thought about um, using just some pieces of aluminum stock. You could do this very easily, bend this up, and have it directly attached to the rack itself. In my case, since I had these brackets for my old one, I decided to use these. So, again, it's very simple. Um, it's 48 inches wide because that's the length of this board. These boards come in 48 inches by 24 inches. So cut one in half, actually a little bit less. I think this is about seven inches. Folded it over, put a little angle on it. It cuts very easily with uh, a razor. Rounded the edges over, sanded it slightly round, drilled four holes and used some stainless hardware to put it all together. So let's go to the Jeep and put it on. So 
that aluminum bracket basically gets sandwiched in between these two black pieces of plastic from the original bracket with the original hardware. Like that. And then this uh, nut on the bottom. So I'm going to do that on all four and then I'll bring you back. And here we go. So <clears throat> again, you could use just angle steel or aluminum and either go on top or on the bottom. I wanted it like this, flat in line here, so that if I had something longer, like, you know, some sheets of plywood or something, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hit this. And even if it did, honestly, this whole sheet of, uh, of this uh, <coughs> PVC cost, I think, 20 bucks and I have enough material for another one. So, uh, there we go. Um, it's a lot quieter. I already drove it, and um, and that's it. Uh, we'll see how this stuff does in the summertime, if I need to reapply it. It's not a big deal. But really, it's about this material, this uh, PVC foam board. It's not really foam, it's, uh, it's quite hard. I'll show you here. So this is steel, steel scribe, and um, you know, I'm pushing down on it pretty hard. Uh, it's definitely, definitely very firm. So sandwich two of these together. You probably don't have to. I guess you could use just one. Uh, I didn't want any deflection. And, um, and that's it. And now let's go take... One more look. I think that'll go really well. I'm very excited about it. I probably could have uh, spaced these a little bit more carefully so that uh, they're not sitting on those ribs. I may end up redoing that now that I look at it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so far, it's not so bad.